What's up guys, this is Foreden or Foti K and this is a second tutorial on this boxing stuff and it's gonna be the gym. Um as you can see here it doesn't look like you know nothing much. Obviously it's nice nice scenery to use um and it'd be good to make some animations because you know you got the punch bag so you can do some background animation people training you got some weights you can do all that stuff you know and you can light this really well which is what i'm going to show you today basically setting up a boxing scene that's what i'm going to call it you know i'm gonna it's basically a recycled tutorial however um you know if i try and do the same sort of tutorial on different aspects then it's sort of a, a you know a way you can it's a learning curve basically for adapting to different environments and stuff like that um Using the same stuff for different things. Um, I really need to work on my vocabulary before I do the um, the tutorial. But anyway, um, no one's said anything so far, so I think I'm getting away with it. Um, so yeah, basically, um, I'm going to show you how I would set this scene up. Now, it is set up already um, with the lights and that. So first of all, I'm going to delete those. However, I will show you how to get something to look a lot like this. Hang on. Let me just um, create a camera. And really, really quickly, I'm going to render this out. No lighting, no effects, just pure standard render. Very quick. Boom, done that. All right, so if I now open this scene up, and I need to come to my USB because I also have the render of my lighting. This is, oops, this is the difference between the two. So, same scene. Cinema 4D, this is with no effects and lighting, this is with um, lighting and global illumination and ambient occlusion. Now this is the kind of effect that I wanted because it's like at night time when two people are having a brawl in this gym, you know you see in the movies, the, the outside are all blacked out and then the focus is the ring because that's how the light is illuminating. But if you use your common sense, not saying you haven't got any, but you know, that sounds quite bad. Um, as you would use your common sense, um, you can look at the scene and you think, how could I like this? Um, so basically, that's what we're going to do. We're going to look at how we can light it and we're going to act on it. So first of all, all this stuff is in my way. What I'll do is click on one, find the roof, hide it. And do that for everything that's in the way. So walls, glass, window frames. Uh, posters on the walls, all that stuff. Um, I don't want to see that. It's going to get in the way. So hide it. You're not deleting it, you're just hiding it. Um, I bet that's all linked. Nope, that's all good. We don't need the pipes. So the immediate thing I see with this scene is they have lights, which is um, brilliant because we could actually use each of these lights to illuminate our scene. And by doing that, it's going to create a more realistic image because the scene is going to be set up as, you know, as realistic as possible by having lights to illuminate this area, another light to illuminate this area, and the combined light to create, you know, to create a brighter light in the center. And that is how the gym would work because that is their lighting setup. So we're just going to now create our lighting based on their setup. Um, now most people will just go, yep, light, there we go, and add a shadow. No, um, I would not use these lights. Um, I can't even remember the last time I've used these type of lights in the past few months because I, I never actually had to, had to use them. Um, only to make something brighter as more like a global thing, uh, not local. Um, so... What I use is an area light. So you can come up here and go to area light. And it comes up with a little box. Um, and what I usually do is you could, I don't know if you can change the box to a circle or anything. Um, hang on a minute, I can't remember what, what tab it is. Here we go. You come to details, area shape, you can go to, uh, if a uh, sphere or cylinder, but I'd like to uh, just a a disc, um, and then what I'll do is I'll rotate this ninety degrees, and what we can because obviously these lights are disc formation. Actually, not what I'm going to do. It's going to separate these lights, so I'm going to show that green, and I'm going to hide the null. 
So everything below this is not seen apart from the lamps which are green, which will be shown. Um, and what I can do now is I can come into uh, top view, zoom out a bit, grab the light and position that oops, on one of these lights here. So center that and just bring the size down as well to match the, the shape of the lamp. There we are, and I can also just lift that up, just so it's, oops, just so it's underneath the light, to about there. And now I'll just bring everything back. <coughs> Sorry, I needed to belch. I've done that in my last video, it's because I'm drinking Dr. Pepper, so, <laughs> uh, it's all that fizzy stuff. Um, right, so now we've got our light, it, it's more globally, isn't it? You know, it's light in everything, if I turn it off and on. Um, so what we want to do is we want to add a fall off. So you come into details and you come here. And then I usually just go to um, inverse square. And then basically you can choose the radius of the light by this box. So I'll probably only go for something like that. Just enough to sort of illuminate a bit. Because don't forget, we are going to have several lights in one area which will again enhance you know the brightness so i think yep yeah, that's good enough well that's good enough for me um right that's it now i can hide the scene again and it is pretty dull this but copy and paste move on to the light you know and all that stuff and just copy the same light to every lamp that is available so then I can just grab all four of these, make a little shortcut, copy and paste, and come bring it up there. And then just do the same for the outer ones. And I'll keep just to the left side because then I can copy and paste all these and then just drag them all to the right. It just saves a bit of time. There we are, so how many is there? The top four. Copy and paste. And drag those here as well. So that is it guys, really. We can group all these and we can hide them because we do not need to see them now. Unhide everything. Come inside, create a nice little camera. And once we've got our camera, we can just position it somewhere here. And then the, the next important step is ambient occlusion oops, and global illumination. Check both of these on. Now, um, if there's anything shiny, something like these weights, I would usually come down and I would add a, a reflection on because metal is shiny. So they might reflect the floor, the ring, only slightly though, something to about 25%. And that's how I'd go around, even the, the punch bags. I'll even put a reflection of something like 5% because you'll always have some sort of reflection on it whether it be light or whatnot. Um, it just depends really what you want to reflect and what you don't um, and the level of reflection. So again uh, something like this 5 because it's got wood but it's, it's enough okay so there we are. Go to our render settings, go to options and make sure our ray depth and shadow depth are set to 7 and our reflection depth is 4. And then come to the global illumination tab, sorry. Go to irradiance cache and go, um, whatever that word is, I'm not going to try and say it. Stochastic, I don't know. Um, and then set that to low and then we're all good to render. However, although these settings help speed up render time, because of the amount of lights and shadows, oh, oh, sorry, we've missed something. I've just said it. Shadows. Select each one of these lights and shadow soft. We forgot that bit, but <laughs> that is important. Um, and I can't even remember what I was on about previous. But anyway, we're going to now render it. And what we'll do is we will create one gym render two. And I think we're all good to go. So it is going to be a bit tedious now waiting for this render. But the results should be really nice. You know, and then there's other things, actually, while we're waiting for that to render. Um, 
stuff like punch bags. Oh, I am actually trying to, in the process of making them sort of just dangle from the ceiling. So it's like more dynamic gravity type feel. Um, I haven't been able to do that yet because the punch bag just falls separate from the chain. Um, so, you know, I'm trying to, trying to learn all these different things because, you know, I, I, I don't even know half the stuff in Cinema 4D. So, um, you know, it is a challenge to try and get everything working the way you want to. And it does take time. So where I'm trying to learn all this, I don't have time to do animations. I'm at work. I'm at college. All that kind of stuff. Um, so that's why I tend to do short animations rather than long ones because I, I can't keep the motivation because I'm so busy. And once I go to uni and I start doing this stuff, that might change things because, you know, I'm not going to be at college. Um, so it's going to give me a bit more time, um, you know, for that. Um, so even all these animations that I'm starting, even if I don't finish them, I will render out what I've done, you know, and just show like a, an unfinished progress. I don't want to do that, but if that's what comes to it, then that, you know, that's what happens. Um, but is that done yet? Oh, I'm a knob. If I, I bet you, if I unhide the walls, I'm behind the wall. Ugh. All right. I'm so stupid. All right. Let's move it inside the wall. Right, there we go. That might be something a little bit better. Now we might be able to actually render something. Oh, I feel like a nut. Um, there we go. We can see some nice lit. These are the lights, pretty much. All right. Um, yeah, now that's rendering. We can go back to doing what we're going to do. Um, so yeah, like, like I said, I was going to do an animation on this. So I'm going to have people in the background on the punch bags, have people on the weight machine, that are the weights the weight benches, and then going to have a fight in the middle. Um, so it's all going to be like a, a nice dynamic um, animation. Unfortunately, the animations I won't be doing. However, everything else I will be like lighting, camera work, you know, and it's just those little things that could make your animation step up just that one bit. And I might even do a few tutorials to show you how, how I'll do that, you know. And it's just learning camera types. I, I'd advise that. If you want to make animation films, learn camera types and what they do and how how they work with film um you know stuff like low angles high angles dutch angles and, and all that kind of stuff it, it really does help and it you know it creates it creates a movie a movie um otherwise it's, it's left boring so right that's halfway through the global illumination see i thought it's a bit tedious waiting for this render however it will be worth it but But yeah, I'm hoping this animation, little animation is going to be nice. Get a few on the go. Um, until I wait for the new Call of Duty. Um, and then that's when I want to sort of start getting back into doing the TK stuff. Because, you know, as a 3D animator for TK, I can't really do much. I'm quite limited as opposed to everybody else that can provide content for the channel. Um, my content that I provide takes months. Um, so it is a bit of a shame, and I do feel quite bad that I'm not really contributing as much as I want to. But that's just the nature of the job, unfortunately, and the role. So just got to get on with it. And, you know, Advanced Warfare has already been and gone. You know, I'm still doing the TK Rise animation, but that, that's taken forever because of render times and things going wrong. You know, it's, it's never simple with things. Even people that might have a better understanding, they always run into problems. But anyways, so far we are at 2 minutes and 20 seconds and we're still on the irradiance cache process of global illumination. Um, what's this? Past 6 of 8. So we're getting there. Again, if you're getting bored, um, please skip forward on the tutorial because I would pause it and then start it again, but every time I do that it kind of fails. So, um, I just keep it running now. And I like doing full length tutorials so people can see exactly how it's done. No shortcuts or anything like that because, you know, I've seen a few tutorials where they have skipped bits and it's an important critical part. So, you know, and then people think uh, it doesn't work when I do it, you know, all because they've left this one thing out, which didn't seem important. However, you know, it was so. The fact that I keep them um, full length, you know, I prefer to do that. Um, and if people actually watch through this video and actually take the time, then they're the ones more likely to get things done because they're more dedicated to put time into 
learning and all that stuff. So it it really just like sort of filters out the people that want to learn and don't want to learn, you know. So that not that I'm trying to do that on this channel, but um, unfortunately, people do give up quite easily, and I have plenty of times. So you know, I'm, I'm not excusing that. But there we go, guys. A lovely scene which we've just created. So it's pretty much exactly the same as the the render that I showed you earlier. Center, you know, in the center, it's all nice and bright. Um, and everything else around in the background is sort of dark. Um, and also the lights here, the light bulbs are illuminated, which is good. That's what we want. Um, the lamp itself, not really worried worried about that, but because the light is so close to the uh, the light bulb, uh, that will illuminate that. So brilliant, more realism. So. Uh, there we go, guys. Um, and I will keep you posted on the stuff that I do for this uh, box animation and try and hit tutorials in when I can. Um, so there you go. Nice light and, uh, light and setup tutorial for you there. Um, comment and like the video. Um, put down if you want to see any more tutorials involving this box and stuff or anything else, in fact. So I'll try and get back to you on that one as soon as I can. Um, so I'll see you later, guys. Peace.